that, uh, yeah, Drewby's Planetary Fortress oh, did nice. not quite get finished, so they did actually manage to kill that off. That cannon unpowered as well, so they're going to have to reinforce everything, get all together there, and the force fields, you know, they're not the cleanest in the world, but they're getting the job done. Uh, you may have to spam extra force fields than an actual Protoss player might, but uh, the medevacs overhead now are going to make a massive difference in this next attack from Assassin's Select just now getting his starport finished back at home. And we do have a Dark Shrine coming up for Cats as well. Odd to say that, Dark Shrine coming up for Cats. Um, but he is going to be able to be pretty effective with those. There's not a lot of um, detection on the ground with the exception of the Orbital Command scans. There is another base coming up for Select now. It is a established back in his main and he's putting another orbital command down on that but it looks like Drewby wants to go right around he's not even going to attack the destructible debris I would imagine he's just going to pick up these medevacs and ladder all of his units onto the high ground here or he or will, he attack, will the indeed attack the destructible debris <laughs> didn't figure he was going to do that figure he was going to take the quick approach there's because actually now, no vision there from optic zero he can't see through that smoke let's take a look here you know he cannot so that's a decent choice though <laughs> all right so Drewby is going to bust through those destructible debris he'll make his way up here in just a second. Scan goes down to see what's on the field. Drewby going to run his way around. Now the force is revealed. Gonna Looks like Select is going to bring everything back. Here he comes. Guardian Shield did go down. Those Banelings are going to try and make their way in. If the Banelings burst, they will do pretty good damage, but they most of them just exploded beforehand. But Select, I believe, has enough forces to move in here and clean this up. Stims again. Drewby trying to save his uh, medevacs, but he does lose two of those right away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Cats with two DTs. One of them dies, another one gets away. I'm sure he'll be returning soon. Those last couple of zealots do get popped, and now both players really just have to rebuild back at home. If, uh, I don't know, Cats is finally expanding. I was waiting for that forever, wondering if he would ever get out of his base. So Cats expanding now. Optic Zero does have a second base up. He's still making just lings. They're probably only going to make Bane lings out of those. Uh, still no other units, really, is the surprising part of this. Select is throwing up some turrets all over the place now just because the nose DTs are part of the battle now for more marines and plus one weapons coming along for Select. So even though Druby had more medevacs and that plus one attack already finished, it just wasn't enough. He didn't have enough units. So really I would I would actually advise Druby spam a bunch of reactor production facilities at this point. And looks like that DT was in range of those units for a little while. He's going to go over here to the right, and this would be very, very bad for Optic Zero. Looks like Select and Optic Zero going to make a big attack. There's the stim coming in now for Select. There are a couple of DTs here as well. He's got to watch out and probably have to waste a scan. There it is. Scan goes down. He is actually going to do a little bit of economic damage, but there are a considerable number of units here for Druby as well. He's going to be able to, with his superior upgrades, draw even if not move these units back for Select. Bailings are coming in, trying to do the rest, but it looks like they're getting killed before they're able to burst. Man, I've seen Druby just because I was at the root house back in the day uh, for about two weeks. Druby, when he's not playing ladder or custom games, he'll actually play this custom game where all you have to do is spread your marines against Bailings, and he's so good at it by now. But all these workers have been cleaved into tiny little pieces by those DTs. There's a drop here from Druby in Optic Zero's actual main forcing select to come and try to respond to this. Druby probably just going to forfeit all of this. He doesn't even really need to control that at this point. And select um, just trying to make more marines at this point in the production tab. Druby matching him though and getting plus one armor upgraded as well. Yep and Drewby completely mining off of that gold where Select has mined his out which means he has basically no mining whatsoever. He has only six mineral patches now five mineral patches here remaining in his main. That's not going to be all that effective. DTs did successfully clean up this uh, secondary expansion for Optic Zero which means he is down to eight supply and that eight supply is well, he does have seven drones out somewhere, I suppose. <laughs> but, uh, I was going to say creep tumors. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but all these Marines from Select finding a scouting factory, at least there's that bonus. But um, if they run headfirst into these Marines, they might actually score a couple of kills, but there are some medevacs in the air to be able to support that. And I have to say, this game I thought was over in the first six minutes when Select and I agree. Uh, Optic Zero managed to break through that destructible debris and kill so many units. This is actually turning out into the best game of the winner's final or the grand final. Yeah, I think this has been about the best game we've actually seen out of this tournament so far. So, looks like Select is going to make another big push here over to the right. There's only a Photon Cannon oh. and a couple of HTs standing in his way. And there we go. This... Well, he's that photon cannon be very helpful. He is going to go after the Nexus first. Finally, everything else is going to die. A ton of probes do go down, so Katz is really not going to be doing all that much mining. He is mi well, no mining. Yeah, he's he is mined out of his main completely. So his economy is not 
but Optic Zero's is as well. Optic Zero actually cannot build anything but a drone at this point. He has 70 minerals to his name. Um, Drewby at a very healthy 81 supply. Let's go back to supply count, army tab. There, army tab, uh, there you 11, go. 11, 87. That puts them at about um, almost 100. And 130, 140-ish for assassins. Katz isn't mining, but at least he has the option yeah. to be able to mine, as he does have still quite a lot of probes left alive, and this next is coming along now. It looks like there's some pink on red blob moving through the middle now. What is even left alive for Optic Zero? Uh, drones apparently yes. being recruited for the war effort and select loading up a drop oh. to head who knows where. Katz is hacking this lair to pieces with a single DT. Will he be able to kill that off? It looks like Select is in no position to come defend against it and drop a scan. Archon. Oh boy. Uh, a lone Archon <laughs> once again. <laughs> so here we go. All right. Uh, Optic Zero, he has his drones and a couple of banelings there. If he's able to get those in, it'd be pretty critical, actually, if he's able to get those banelings in. Oh, no. One of his two banelings is down. The other one gets a burst and only really gets a couple of Marines, so not as effective as he would have liked. I think that is all the supply for Optic Zero. I think he is officially out, and Drewby is going to be able to make his way in, take down this gold orbital command, and Select is really doing all of his mining down here at the bottom. Nice right. Storm. All oh. units. Good Ooh, job, Cats. Yeah, <laughs> actually. There's the GG. Well played out of wow. Select. The congratulations. Thus, Team Assassins is the victor of the Season 1 of the Prodigy Team Star League. I wonder if Subsun's really thought out their uh, switcheroo there. <laughs> I think Team uh, Terran Protoss versus Terran Protoss might have actually been a better option than uh, TZ versus Terran Protoss. Yeah, too sorry, <laughs> but that's okay. Thanks very much, everyone who tuned in. We had almost 4,500 viewers there towards the end of that match, so thanks very much to everyone who decided to tune in for that. It was an absolute pleasure to cast. Um, don't forget, you can check out Joshi and I's stuff as well when we get to some special things. You can find me at twitter.com slash catspajamassc2. I really do do appreciate your follows. Find me also at Facebook, YouTube, and Justin TV slash Cats Pajamas SC2. And I'm also joined by... I'm Josh Sov, better known as Ask Joshy on the interwebs. You can check out all of my stuff at twitter.com slash askjoshy, facebook.com slash askjoshy, and the most important one is youtube.com slash askjoshy. I put up a ton of live stuff, interviews, and behind-the-scenes stuff from live events, and as soon as I move into my place this week and get my own PC set up, I'll be back to casting StarCraft II replays and all that other sort of content for you guys as soon as I can, but uh, youtube.com slash askjoshy is the important one there. But now let's get into all the other thank yous. Obviously, Cats Pajamas and I did not run this by ourselves, that would have been way too much work <laughs> for this awesome tournament. So I guess uh, go right into those. Yeah, absolutely. Big thanks. Uh, first of all, to everyone who was running the PTSL, uh, Ben and Alan are primary point, uh, points of contact. You guys ran a great tournament, and thank you very much for letting us be a part of it. Uh, to Complexity Stake, a.k.a. Star Life, who organized a lot of this, got it set up, made the contacts for the teams, actually withdrew his own 2v2 team when there was such an overwhelming response for this. Find uh, him at ComplexityGaming.com. You can also find Jake Frink at WarpPrism.com. He was the one who set up all those awesome alternate streams where you could listen in to the various different teams talking to each other during the games. Again, find him at WarpPrism.com. You can find Josh Folland, otherwise known as Icy Cup Prodigy, who designed most of the maps for this tournament at Twitter.com slash ProdigySC. Thank you very much for even altering things on the fly. A very diligent worker there, and a lot of his maps are just awesome. Also, a big shout out to Akaya, who put, who actually altered his Alpha Caster overlay to include a 2v2 format. Find him at bit.ly slash Alpha Caster. Adabizi and Wombat covered for us on Friday because we are working at IGN.com and we had some obligations for the first couple hours of the tournament. So you can find Adabizi stuff YouTube.com slash Adabizi Starcraft or Twitter.com slash Adabizi with four eyes at the end. Um, also, Justin TV did feature us on the front page this day and the last. So big thanks to, for their support as well. Find them at Justin TV or Twitch.tv, which was their new gaming streaming platform. So thanks everyone for tuning in again it was an absolute pleasure casting with you as well josh yeah great to cast with you glad to be able to do it and it's actually just sort of weird fate and coincidence we both agreed to do this tournament <laughs> months ago actually literally months ago before ign even did any job postings or anything like that before i got the job moved out here to san francisco so coincidence brought us together and we actually cast these live from the same room this weekend initially we were just going to you know be a country apart but 
that was pretty cool to, to be able to cast live sitting next to your co-caster. I actually have never been able to do that in the past. Yeah, it actually makes for a much better casting environment because then you don't have that like awkward like half second or full second delay or anything like that uh, online whenever you're trying to stumble over each other's words. We'll give one last shout out as well to the PTS well PTSL. Blah, blah, blah. Find them on twitter.com slash prodigy TSL, Facebook.com slash prodigy team star league, youtube.com slash prodigy TSL, wellplate.org slash PTSL or PTSL dot TV. And I was wrong with my link before for Twitch TV. I apologize. It's actually Twitch TV dot com is what I meant to say. Uh had Justin dot TV in my mind. Find them at Justin dot TV or Twitch TV dot com. So thanks very much to everyone who decided to tune in. It was an absolute pleasure casting this. We will hopefully catch you for the next season of the PTSL soon. And thanks to Fish Sticks, because he is actually the one who featured us on Justin.tv, and he's going to be my future roommate later this week. (laughs) So there you go, Ben. Happy birthday yesterday, or Friday, or whenever it was. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, happy birthday to Ben as well. Yay. All right, thanks everyone who watched. Uh, Go leave leave all that lovely feedback for the uh, Prodigy Team Starlink guys, and that's, uh, that's it for me. See you guys. See you guys later.